Hi, my name is Afnan. Uh, this is my fifth video on aquaponics. Somebody have uh, inquired on about uh, my bell valve and how to make the bell valve. So I've decided to sh make a video and how to make the valve. Okay, first let me go through the component uh, required. First, this is the water tank adapter uh, 25 millimeter plastic adapter 25 millimeter PVC pipe just uh, a short length uh, then it depend on how high the water you want in the growth pit 25 millimeter to 50 millimeter PVC pipe adapter and uh, additional threaded coupling, 25 millimeter threaded coupling, 80 millimeter PVC pipe. I have a drill, crown shape, circle all around. So this will act as a water inlet when the bell is inverted. 80 millimeter end cap. This is what. I use to make the bell so that it will be a airtight bell that you put over the stand pipe. 110 millimeter PVC pipe with a lot of holes drilled so that it will allow water to pass through and uh, this will act as a strainer uh, to prevent growth med medium to go into the bell valve uh, let me show you how is the bell valve assembled right imagine this uh, cardboard box is the growth is the growth bit okay first uh, drill a 25 millimeter hole on in the growth bit and uh, I apologize for a shaky video because I'm using a handphone to make this video. Uh, what you need to do is to put the threaded water tank adapter as the stand pipe. But first, make sure you drill a small drip hole on uh, in the uh, threaded adapter this will act as a, a drip if you decide to switch off the pump at night or whenever you have a, a power failure or you decide to time the pump so that there will not be water lock uh, in the growth bed all right I put the put the I put the adapter and uh, screw it in from the bottom. Right, that's how it looks like, and underneath the grow bit will be something like this and uh, next what you need to do is take this uh, threaded coupling and thread it in this will this is the place where you attach a 25 millimeter PVC pipe so that you will return the water to the fish tank depend on how long you need to have the pipe okay Next, what you do to do is take the 25 millimeter pipe and insert it in. Make sure that it doesn't close the drip hole. Then you put the adapter, 25 millimeter to 50 millimeter adapter, so that the water inlet is big, so that the water will flow through and will not uh, this. Uh, uh, bell a uh, standpipe will work most of the time in fact all the time you should work 
next you put the 110 millimeter PVC pipe uh, what you need to do is actually to apply RTV sealant to the bottom of this uh, PVC pipe and stick it to the growth bed so that it will not move and this will act as a strainer okay once uh, the RTV has dried up you can use the and put the drove median and use the bell valve last put the bell over the standpipe that's it you have a fully functional bell valve uh, you only need to use a very small aquarium pump what I use is something like this a 12 watt aquarium pump a very cheap low cost aquarium pump which costs about uh, about 10 US dollar from the aquarium shop and this is sufficient to provide the water in your growth bed okay and uh, I've decided to make this uh, bell valve an open source so that uh, it will benefit the hydroponic enthusiast community and if you decide to use this design uh, I appreciate it if you give me some credit for uh, designing this particular uh, bell valve okay thank you very much I apologize for the very bad quality of this video because I'm using a handphone to do the video thank you very much